Welcome back to Footballology. So I have this video I've been wanting to put out for a couple of weeks, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Around this time of the year, it's kind of slow, so I kind of had this idea for a video. It's called the All Footballology Team, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. They kick off things. I got Julio Jones at the number one receiver spot. You guys understand the concept. The all footballology team is just like the all pro teams and all first team guys. So Julio Jones is my number one guy at the receiver spot. I feel like he has an ability to take the top off the defense. He has an ability to go across the middle and he has a strength to take some hits. So that's why he's my number one receiver. No knock against Antonio Brown. I do have a lot of respect for him and what he brings to the table. But Julio is my number one receiver. At my wide receiver two spot, I'm gonna have AJ Green. And now you guys understand what I'm going here. I have two towers on the outside. These guys on the outside would be insane together. You have Julio Jones that takes the top off, obviously, but you have AJ Green, which I think his ability to contort his body in mid air really goes underrated and unnoticed. And he also has those long strides, like 10 yards to Julio Jones is two feet. Like, you know, he's boom, boom, he's 10 yards already. So I think he has an ability to do that as well. He can still take the top off. He's shown that he has the ability with his strides to take the top off. But at the same time, to jump up and contest for a lot of passes in the air. So I definitely like AJ Green at the two spot. And I think he just, oh, it'd be insane to have him and Julio on the same team. For all my Antonio Brown lovers, now I didn't forget about him. Like I said, I have mad respect for this guy and what he brings to the table. But I think his ability for his route running ability and his small area quickness, definitely he's a phenomenal slot receiver. Now, I had these guys lined up one, two, and three, but once the play calling starts to happen, you can move all these guys around and they can all do the same thing. So that has the ability to be, they have the ability all to be triple, quadruple threat guys. But Antonio Brown and the short area quickness that he brings to the table, this guy is very feisty, strong, and the ability to come across the middle, take a hit, and still get the first down for you. He's the third down receiver that you can trust on a third and five to go get those, those yardage that you need. So having him at the slot, re, uh, slot position, you think about how those safeties now on the back end have to play, because now you have to worry about Julio. And now if you go with Julio, you got to worry about Antonio Brown. Now, Antonio Brown creates a mismatch against linebackers, uh, slot, uh, not slot, nickel corners, and then the other opposition uh, safety, the other safety that has to worry about AJ Green. So now it's like, there's like so much going on at once on one play, but I think Antonio Brown would probably be the most beneficiary of having those two guys on the outside. Not saying that he doesn't do well by himself, but having those two guys on the outside, the thing that he'd be able to work the middle and the mismatches that he will be able to create would just be completely insane. So Antonio Brown, phenomenal slot receiver, and I think that's where he would uh, he would make money bank in the slot receiver's position. This is probably gonna be another um, opportunity for people to get mad at me and uh, comment hate on, it, on the video, but I really like Travis Kelsey. I like him better than Gronkowski. I promise you I like him better than Gronkowski. And it's kind of borderline bias. You can say, if it break down the percentage and the bias, it's about 20 to 30% bias because he is a Chiefs player. But at the same time, I think he has way better athleticism than Rob Gronkowski. Now everyone says Gronk is an athletic freak of nature kind of type beast. JJ Watt is a freak of nature in my personal opinion. The ability that he brings to the table, I think he's more of a freak of nature. When you look at Rob Gronkowski, he's just, he outpowers people. He really can't run away from anybody, but he, if you get to him, he's still gonna shrug you off. Travis Kelsey has an ability to catch the ball, get the yak, and get downfield. The only thing that you can really say bad about Travis Kelsey is he has a fumbling problem. Hopefully he fixes that in the near future. And other than that, the dude's a beast. He's a mismatch nightmare. So now you got Julio Jones, AJ Green, Antonio Brown, and Travis Kelsey. That's just insane. It's like you have four wide receivers, but this man's a tight end. So once again, you have the mismatch on the inside. And I know Gronkowski can provide that mismatch, but I think I think Travis Kelsey's a better mismatch player, if that makes sense. You know, I think he's faster than a linebacker and big enough, bigger than a linebacker in my personal, or big enough for a linebacker, but then bigger than a safety and faster than a safety. So I really like Travis Kelsey. Like I said, some borderline bias in there, but I really think Travis Kelsey could definitely be a legit threat and better than Rob Gronkowski. Now at the running back position, I got Le'Veon Bell. My opinion, my favorite running back. Dude's a monster. I, I love some Le'Veon. I wish the guy can stay healthy for 16 and throughout the playoffs. 
for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but Le'Veon Bell is such a beast. He is such a mismatch. He is He's everything that you would want in a running back, especially today's running back. It was hard toss-up for me because I'm also a huge fan of David Johnson as well. But if I had to create that, you know, second team footballology, hey, if you guys want that video, go ahead, hit the like button. Give me, you know, 20, 30 likes and I'll make a second team all footballology squad. But uh, Le'Veon Bell definitely, I feel like, is probably the best running back in the NFL. No knock on AP. Huge fan of AP. And it's crazy because Matt Forte does a lot of the same things that Le'Veon does. But for some reason, I just like Le'Veon's running. Like, if that makes sense. Oh, I think he's a better runner of the ball. Now, Forte can run the ball as well and run the ball really good as well. But I think Le'Veon's just a better patient runner. Like, I, you watch the guy play and it looks like he's moving slow, but he's actually moving really faster than the game itself. So it's really crazy. Having him at the running back position, once again, recap, we got Julio at the one, we got AJ at the two, we got Antonio Brown at the slot position, Travis Kelsey at the tight end position. Now you got Le'Veon Bell at the running back position. Oh my God, stop the madness. That offense will be insanely good. Now, the guy that's gonna be throwing the rock to all these beasts out here, Andrew Luck. Now, I know you guys are expecting Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, uh, any other elite quarterbacks that I may forget, Matt Ryan, somebody else other than Andrew Luck. But I'm going with Andrew Luck because the reason why, I think he's such a good quarterback. I really think, not underrated because he gets his, he gets his due diligence when it comes to media attention and hype and all those things. But I just think that this guy is so good at what he does and he hasn't had the ability to really flourish or grow because he's been too busy trying to protect himself in Indianapolis. Andy fixed that this offseason. Go Andy. I took care of business. But I think if you protect this guy, you give him the weapons that I just gave him, the dude would be crazy nice. I mean, you were talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it, I say 6,000 yards. You know what I mean? You got easily 3,000 yards at every uh, catching, or 4,000 yards at every catching position. And then you got Le'Veon in, in the backfield. So even if the safety wanted to cheat up on Le'Veon, you got Andrew Luck throwing the ball. Oh, my God. And the guy can still run. So I just think that he's a really good quarterback. And he's my favorite quarterback, and that's why he's on the awful biology team. So I just wanted to make a really quick video. This is, like I said, this is a video I've been really excited about and really, really wanting to pit out. And it's so, such a good video in my personal opinion. And some of these guys really think about those offensive skill positions put together. Now, for the people that really love football, like I love football and the way I pay attention to football, go down in the description box and look at the offensive linemen that I put down there. Now, if I get those five guys to block for these skill position guys, I think this offense will be unstoppable. Personally, I think this will be an unstoppable offense with the five guys that I'm going to have blocking. Go ahead, comment uh, what if you like those five guys or not, and tell me what you guys would do different on the offensive line. And then also I got a fullback out there as well, if you guys check the description box that I like as well, to block for Le'Veon because for me, I like a lot of eye form sets, like weak eye, strong guy. I like those sets a little bit more than the traditional option handoff or shotgun pistol stuff. But, or I guess I said traditional. The way I like is traditional. I'm not really into the new stuff, I guess you could say. But <clears throat> I just think that if those five guys are blocking for these skill position guys, offense will definitely be unstoppable. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, though. I'm going to do my defensive video next week. If you guys want it sooner or sometime throughout the week, let me know. Comment, 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 and let me know what you guys think. Let me know who your starting skill position guys are and your starting five offensive linemen even if you want to. Go ahead and drop the comment down in the section below. And if you're not a footballologist yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, become a footballologist today, and stay safe, football fans.